Hey everybody. I'll give it a couple of minutes for everyone to join in. <clears throat> Hi everyone, my name is Amanda. Um, today I'm going to be talking about real estate, um, how to build your own business, make lucrative income and passive income in real estate without needing to own property. So that's going to be the topic of today. I know a couple of you are joining and I'll get right into it. So um, again, my name is Amanda. I'm in real estate. I have my own real estate Airbnb company. Um, I've had it for about a year now. I'm 28 years old. Um, I have a full-time job, a very demanding full-time job. And so with that being said, this is definitely something you can do with a full-time job um, and as a side hustle. So just before I start off, this is going to be something that I'm going to teach you to do as a side hustle or if you want, it's something that you can do into a full-time job. So the reason I'm so excited about this is because you can do it with a full-time job. So for all of us women out there who are trying to find a side hustle, and you don't have too, too much time, but you want to make extra money, um, this is a great opportunity. And it's so exciting because it's passive. So on top of everything else, like, you know, I've waitressed my whole life. I've babysat. I've always had side time, side job gigs, um, but it's always a lot of extra time. And at the end of the day, you got to kind of ask yourself, is the money worth the time? So this whole business that I'm going to be talking about today, um, a little bit more in depth as the call goes on, um, is how I work my business, what the business is, um, and how passive it is. So essentially what I do is um, partner with homeowners, long story short. So instead of having my um, Airbnb company where I have to go buy properties, which everybody wants to know, like, okay, first of all, Real estate is a $9 trillion industry. It is the number one generator of wealth across the entire world. So of course you wanna know like, how can I be involved in real estate without owning any property? That's kind of like the golden ticket question, which is impossible because I've been interested in real estate my entire life probably. Like at least obviously my adult life. Um, I work in a corporate fashion. Uh, I work like 60 hours a week and I always did free seminars to figure out like what can I do where I don't have to own property, right? Like that's kind of the golden question. Can I make a passive income um, with rental properties without needing to buy properties? So that's kind of like the whole point of this video. So it's exciting and I wanna go into that because at the end of the day, for those of us that have corporate jobs, um, it's extremely stressful. So um, I'm actually gonna drop this link in here really quickly because I gotten a lot of comments that people can't say the whole video and then they have no way to get in touch with me. So go on that link if you're not gonna say the entire video. Um, if you're interested in the concept, I do have a free PDF. It goes over five basic steps you need to start your own business. I have a Facebook group, which I'm going live at noon today um, in the Facebook group to talk about um, how to start a high side hustle while being worried about talking about it publicly because you have a full-time job. So. There's a Facebook group for female real estate entrepreneurs, whether you're already an entrepreneur in real estate or you are aspiring to be in real estate. It's a totally active, open community for us, so please go and join that as well. And then, of course, my social media accounts are on there, which will have daily tips and tricks and videos that I do send out on a daily basis. So sending that in there for those of us, those of you that are not going to be staying on for too long. Uh, but to go into it, the reason I started this whole company is because I got to a point where, you know, I went, I kind of was like your typical, like, honestly, middle class person, right? Like, even potentially lower class. Like, my parents taught me all about security. You need a full-time job. You need to have a secure income. And for those of you that know how I feel that are watching, please feel free to drop it in the comments. Like, you go to school, you get good grades, you go to college. College essentially makes you brainwashes you for lack of a better word or a very realistic word um into feeling like a corporate job um a nine to five is really this most secure way to live um and they do it in a way where side hustles maybe are not as encouraged i work for corporate companies that definitely i have felt nervous to talk about a side hustle that i was working on or to say that I've, hey i'm interested in having my own business um and so we kind of grow up with this mindset that uh, a full-time nine-to-five job is the most secure way to go, um, but it's definitely not the only way to go. <clears throat> and so my whole early 20s, and I still work in corporate America today, hopefully 
not for that much longer because of this business kind of blowing up at this point. Um, but essentially, you know, you get to that point where you're like, I'm overworked. I definitely got to a point of being underappreciated. I didn't feel like I was getting paid the amount that I should because of the amount of overtime I was working on a salary. And it kind of gets to a point where, you know, I'm going to be 30 soon. And I say to myself, like, is this what I want to do in my future? Like, is this how I picture myself in life? Is sitting here at a computer desk working 50 to 60 hours a week, um, working my ass off for a promotion that at the end of the day, uh, even a 5% raise is not too much after taxes on your paycheck. And so it comes down to like, I want to live a life where my income can be passive. Obviously you have to put work in no matter what, but essentially passive on a month to month basis. And the extra work that I put in, I'm going to get out of it. So that's why I started this whole thing. I wind up coming across a podcast that talked about this um, end, end, end of 2019. So only a couple of months before COVID hit. Um, so I wind up coming across a girl who ran her own business similar to mine and lo and behold, she winds up living in Washington. So I lived in Seattle. I just moved to Pennsylvania a couple, few weeks ago. Um, so we wind up getting coffee and I asked her to teach me the business and be my mentor. And that's kind of how I got started. So to go a little bit more into it, there's really two basic things I'm going to talk about today. Um, one, the most important thing I'm going to talk about today is why I partner with homeowners rather than being in a contract. Um, and so there's two different models. The first model, um, so again, this is something I teach extremely in depth for my mentorship program. That's what I do at this point. I have my businesses established enough. I got a ton of girls asking me, how do you make passive income? How do you, how are you so involved in real estate without owning property? So that's kind of why I became a mentor in the beginning, um, because I want to help you guys have something else without feeling like I have to quit my job right now. Like I have to get a loan to do a fix and flip. I have to, like, you don't need to do any of that. So you can do this with a full-time job. You can do this literally anywhere. You don't need any sort of certificate to do it. And you don't need any money down to invest into a property or um, a renovation or anything like that. So just to say that out loud, the only thing you're ever going to have to spend money on is obviously like the startup of your business, which is an LLC. And obviously like $10 a month for a website. So that's the very, very bare, bare, bare minimum to start your own business. So it's very exciting because if you don't have a ton of money to put down to be involved in real estate, that's absolutely okay. That's why I'm here to talk about it. And that's why it's so exciting. So the first model, I'll go right into it, is called rental arbitrage. So I don't know if you guys have heard of it before. Um, it's quite common. So essentially rental arbitrage is... You have a landlord who has their house up for rent. So this person is, whether you find them on Facebook or Craigslist or wherever God may bring this landlord, it's saying like, hey, I'm, you know, renting out my studio apartment, just making this up for a thousand dollars a month. So what you really would do is you go out to these landlords and you say, hey, I run an Airbnb business. I want to run an Airbnb out of your house um, and I'll pay you the rent every single month. So that's pretty much the basics of it. And let's just say you hypothetically make $3,000 that month, you get to pocket that $2,000. Um, and so that's pretty much the basic of a rental arbitrage. You are under a lease contract to pay that homeowner rent every single month. Now, caveats to that. One, this isn't a very lucrative way to do business. Um, you Airbnb, there's no shortage of demand for Airbnb, regardless of you're in a random town in the Midwest or New York, it doesn't matter. Um, so you will make money, but you will need money up front to furnish the house. Um, and God forbid anything in the world happens because if 2020 has taught us anything, you just don't know these days, um, you have to pay that rent. So with that one, it's a little bit hard to scale up because if you feel like, okay, I have 10 properties that I owe $1,500 a month for, that type of risk, it doesn't always sit well with people, right? So the reason I... I teach both of these in my program because I want my girls to feel 100% prepared to go in any direction they want. But what I really hone in on is the second model, which is partnership models. So it's a totally different type of networking and process, but the business is essentially similar, right? You're running an Airbnb regardless. It just depends on how you're going to do it. Also, before I go a little bit depth into it about Airbnb, it's so easy. Like, 
so easy. I cannot stress enough how easy it is. Once you get the hang of it, which I got the hang of it within my first month, I'm literally spending like a half an hour a week on each of my properties, which is bizarre sounding, but it's so true because you can do automated messaging. Once you have a process down, it's so incredibly quick. You can set up all your process in the back end. You can put all your toiletries into a huge closet and lock it up. You don't have to go shopping every day. You're not the one that does the cleanings. All you do is schedule the cleanings. So you're doing everything from your laptop. You don't have to really do anything. The only thing you have to do is obviously once in a while when toiletries start running out in your maid's closet, which I teach you all about, then you obviously have to do a little bit of a stock up. But that, I mean, if you ask me, that's pretty freaking easy considering. Um, so just to preface that also. So the second model, like I said, is partnership. So instead of saying like, hey, I'm going to sign your lease and I owe you $1,000 every month, I'm going to say to you, okay, well, I already know you want to run your house on Airbnb because the partnership model really goes after one referral so you're not really cold selling anything you're not cold calling you're not doing any of that there is a plenty and plenty and plenty of homeowners who are interested in running their homes on airbnb they just don't want to deal with managing it which is where we come in so we say hey i'll run your house on airbnb for you but i'm going to take 25 percent of the profit or 30 percent or whatever you feel comfortable with and so let's just say you make three thousand dollars that month and your profit margin is 30%, you're going to pocket like about $1,000 a month, a little bit less. So that's really the difference there is you're not in a lease. You don't owe them any money. So in the summer months or in ski season or wherever you're living, that's peak season. If you're making like $5,000 a month and you're going to keep like 2000 or if it's a little bit slower and you might keep $1,000 instead of 2000 regardless is you don't owe anyone money. You're going to be making a profit share and there's zero risk involved. There's zero risk. There's no money out of your pocket at any point in time. So that's the exciting part with that one because there's no risk. And risk for me personally, I don't like to have that sort of like, I want to make this a full-time income and I'm very close to doing that. And so the idea of having 10 properties that I owe $2,000 a month over our lease is just not settling to me personally. I'm not speaking on behalf of some people just don't care and they'll get like 30 properties and that's their full-time income and I'll teach you that too. Um, but I personally like to do more of a partnership model because of that. Because if I'm not spending any money, I can essentially get as many properties as I want, right? Like I can have 30 properties and I can run these 30 properties from my couch and I don't owe anyone anything. And so the possibility is essentially limitless. At that point, you can grow as big as you want to be, which is the most exciting part because there really is no limit to where this can go. This can genuinely be a, a multiple six figure business. So that's the best part about this whole thing. And, um, you know, I lived in Seattle and I moved to Pennsylvania and I still manage all of my properties that I still have in Seattle. I just have a friend that lives over there and whenever I need some toiletries, I just send her a Venmo and she just stocks up for me a little bit. But everything I do is virtually. And my homeowners are okay with it because they don't want to deal with, you know, that shit online, which is essentially just texting, which we do all the time, right? Um, so no matter if you plan to move in life, no matter where you want to end up, this is something that you can take with you throughout time. Once it's established, you can even do it across state lines. It's something that is genuinely has ample opportunity, which is the most exciting part about this because you don't have to have all this money to be a business owner. And you know, that's so rare. It's so rare these days. And I wish I would have gotten involved in this and knew about this earlier. Obviously, I'm so excited I have it now. And that's like my entire focus outside of my job is growing this to the point where like I'm making six figures and I'm going to quit my current six figure job. And so that's the whole point of this because like I'm already almost there and it's been like six months. So it's it's so exciting. And I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this and share this with everybody because I've gotten a ton of people asking about it and I've actually had a mentor so like I said that girl that I met in Seattle she had like 30 something properties just her and she is you know she mentored me and I was like here here's my credit card please teach me how to be a business owner I you know I don't have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to do a fix and flip or put a down payment on a house but I got some money for a mentor which brings me into my second point. So she taught me everything that I know. Obviously, I've done it for a while at this point, and I have switched things into my own little, you know, in the way that I want to do it. But essentially, she has changed my absolute life. 
by like teaching me something that I didn't know. And ever since then, I've had a coach this entire 2020, every single month, I have a business coach that I work with. Um, and it's absolutely life changing. And I had a really bad, I won't go too into it. Um, I had a horrible mentor experience about a year ago. I spent an embarrassing amount of money on a mentor. It was horrible. Um, I thought that I was going to be getting a certain service that I didn't get. Um, it was an absolute horrible thing to swallow because it was just a lot of money out of pocket for absolutely zero results. And I was so worried about investing in a mentor again. And I knew that this would work and it does work. So I decided to be a mentor. I love teaching people. I love helping people. I'm personable. I relate to a lot of serious things about women. Um, you know, I don't really come from much. I want to build a business because I want to pass off a legacy to my future family. I want to be a mom one day and I don't want to be stuck at a job 60 hours a week while trying to have a personal life. Like, I want to be able to take care of my parents one day when they retire. And I have all these things in life that I want to accomplish and nothing is going to keep me from that, which is why I have decided to go for mentors in life to help me start this side business that will be my full-time business soon. And I have gotten mentors, like I said, that horrible situation where they were so bad to the point where like, for me, it's really important to be such an amazing mentor for my girls because um, it's important. Like I want to help people. That's my job. And so my mentorship program I only have a few minutes left, um, is three or 13 weeks long. Um, I'm looking for girls who are genuinely, genuinely, absolutely ready to start their own business. Um, from scratch, I teach you every single thing, literally from you knowing absolutely nothing to knowing how to do this business full time, 1000%. Um, so like I said, it's 12 weeks. The 13th week um, is a bonus session that I'm offering throughout 2020, um, which is with a girl who does my books. So she actually wound up getting certified in how to be a bookkeeper in my partnership model for me. So that's kind of her niche. Um, all the clients that I've been working with, all of my girls that I've been working with um, are going to be working with her as well. So she does all of my finances and she's pretty much just going to sit there with you guys and give you a little bit of a lowdown of what you should work on, um, expect, and obviously tracking your profit is the most fun part. So like I said, it's 13 weeks, um, start to finish down to logos, branding, how to build your business name, um, how to build your branding. I'm going to teach you literally how to network perfectly. I'm going to give you all of my scripts, all of my furnishing estimate documents. We're going to be role playing a little bit so I can get you guys ready for this. And even the best part about this whole thing is it's virtual. Um, every single thing I do is on my computer. The only time I go out of my house is when a homeowner wants me to go see the house. Um, so all of my networking and everything is done on my laptop, which is quite beautiful because for those of you out there that are introverts and you don't really feel like networking is your forte one I'm going to help you with that and two you don't have to worry because it's just like this on a laptop takes a lot of the pressure off um and so if any time is a better time to start your business it's now COVID has absolutely if and for those of you who aren't aware rural areas are actually up like 35 percent over last year in Airbnb sales because one Nobody wants to stay in a hotel. That's the basics of it. People don't want to be around other people. They don't want to be around germs. They don't want anything to do with it. Anytime people travel, they're going to go to an Airbnb. So it's an incredible time to get started because if anything, my business is way better now than it was pre-COVID. So don't have any doubts about this. Whether you're in a city, a, a rural area, it doesn't matter. Airbnb works anywhere because we don't have any competition with those hotels anymore. Um, it worked anyway, but it, now it just works like a ton, a ton, a ton. And so like, it's really, there's nothing, there's no cons about this. And so I put my link in there. And the reason I did that is because I want you guys to get those PDFs, share with me, follow me, let's stay in contact. This, this link that I'm putting in the chat is for women who are a hundred percent ready to start this now. Um, Please sign on a call with me if you are ready to start today, not a month from now, today. Um, if you have financial investment in yourself, obviously I'm very affordable for what I do offer. My program is very intensive and you're going to learn a ton. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm obviously not free. So as long as you have some sort of financial investment to invest in yourself and you're ready to start your business and you're ready to get out of your nine to five, most importantly, 
please sign up for a call because we can talk about this, talk about the program a little bit more in depth and any questions and concerns that you have. I'm so excited to share this with everyone. I really, really am. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I really hope to talk to you guys soon and I'll talk to you soon, hopefully. All right. Bye guys. Thanks for having me.